Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Barge Tale 4. So, let's continue where we left off and our next objective is to find Dalglish. Looks like he will be somewhere around here. Well, I guess we'll find out down here apparently. Alright, let's go then. Looks like we'll be going in this direction. Why there is a fight in here, let's just charge them right away. It's fine. We'll get first strike. So, let's take a look. We got two guys with 32 health and two archers. Probably a good idea to take out the archers first. That will be way easier to do. I will meditate and then we can do some damage with our other guy. So, Shiv will do 7 and Lost Arrow will do 5. We can also use Scatter Caltrops which will be pretty nice in this situation. And then I'm actually thinking Hide in Shadows and Razor Strop. Then we can do more damage on the next turn. They can't target the Troll because he's hidden and we got armor. So that the damage will be reduced by 3. Yeah, that was a smart move. Not. Yeah, that was kind of useless. They didn't achieve literally anything. Apparently they are not very smart. So, now we got Razor Strop. Let's see. We want killing blows with the troll because of his special ability. So that means we could do 6 damage with Charged Bolt. We could also use Dragon Bread. Yeah, let's use Dragon Bread. Like so. That will also set the guy in the back on fire. And then we can probably kill him. We need 7 damage. And no, Lost Arrow will do 6. Right. But we can still... No, we can't use Shiv. Let's just use Lost Arrow and then he will... Oh no, right. We will kill him because the damage from Razor's Strop is not included on the tooltip. Right. So that gives us extra opportunity point. Now we can use Shiv. Here. And we can move out of the way if we want to. Behind. Yep, let's do that. Sure. And then we can use Meditate to gain armor. Sounds good to me. Okay. So. Yeah, they are not very smart. What? What are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, they are not smart at all. Not in any way, shape or form. Well then. Let's move here and then we can use Dragon Bread. I love that ability. It's so good. Not only it does really good damage to the guy in the front, it hits the back row and it sets them all on fire. It's so good. Now we can use Lost Arrow. This will kill him because of Razor's Strop. And then we can move like so and use Shiv. There. That's 12 damage. And that's our turn done. Will he actually hit us now? Yeah, he will try. Alright, you're going down, buddy. Some mental damage. Can we actually kill him right now on this turn? Eh, possibly. Yeah, we can, easily. Goodbye. Done. We got the experience and we leveled up. Very nice. So, let's see what we can get. Defense, maybe? We could train in better armor, but we don't actually have better armor right now. Subterfuge. Paranoia Poison. Apply Paranoia Poison to your weapon that lasts for two turns. Any enemy struck with a poisoned weapon is terrified for two turns. If this channel is interrupted, then this adventure is terrified instead. I don't like that too much. Oh yeah, we will probably need training in lockpicking. Yeah. Oh wait, no, we already have that. Never mind. Sundering Smash. We could pick up crafting. We could also pick up more strength. Can't go wrong with that, that's straight up damage increase. Slinking Assault. That would be a nice upgrade. It will do more damage, up to 9. I think I'm going to pick that up. 
and then we can replace Shiv. Unless we just want a strength increase. What does this lead to? Plus one strength. Okay, sure, let's get that then. Works for me. And now we can equip that. So we can replace Shiv. That will be a straight up upgrade here. So there you go. Alright then. So let's move on, shall we? We got some loot. I'll take that. Do we want to heal ourselves? I think we'll be fine, honestly. We'll probably be fine. Let's just move on. We can always heal ourselves before the next engagement. If it looks hard. I'll take all of that. We can probably make more food by now. And some herbs in the corner. Alright, let's make some food really quick. Crafting. So, cooking herbs. And then we can make a steak or two. And more food. There, that will do. And some lockpicks, maybe. Okay, we do have quite a few, so maybe we don't need that many. Well, we got three lockpicks, but we haven't used any just yet. Let's move on. Looks like we're going this way. Okay. More loot. I'll take that. Is it's that Darglish? It is. But who's that with them? Hello there. Bremer, I promise you, it wasn't me. Who's this? Ah, Ringneck and a friend. There's hope yet. Thank you for coming, friends. Some monster pretending to be me has been going around demanding terrible forfeits from my clients for what they owe me. No idea. But the bastard forced poor Sir Gregory to sheath the sword I made for him in his hand, and he goaded old Mother Teasdale to dance around on the brass leg I fitted her with till she dropped. Okay. Any idea who he'll go after next? He seems to be bullying his way through my accounts ledger. And next on the list is Captain Tavish, a paladin of the Fatherites for whom I made some armor. We need to get to Tavish first. Well, let's go then. So, he joined our group. We can have up to six characters in our party from the looks of it. Alright then. So, obviously confirm. Welcome, Dalgleish! A tiring neck. This is all part of the recent troubles, I'm sure of it. Someone's tried to make Scarabre believe the worst of the dwarves. So let's it check him out really quick. So he's a fighter, which means he should probably be in the front. Alright then. I don't think I can give him anything better. No, not really. We do have a leather helm. Hmm? Yeah, I can't really give that to anyone. Well, yeah, I can. It will be a slight upgrade. Here you go. Really? Always better than nothing. Alright, let's move on then. So, which way are we going? Oh yeah, hold on. Can we equip some potions? They are already equipped. What are we doing? Okay, which way are we going right now? Let's take a look. We can't go through here, can we? Yes, we actually can. Alright then. So, hold on. How is that supposed to work? Here, that's better. Yes, friends. If you're here to buy, I've the finest armor in Scarabre. Okay, let's see what he has for sale. We probably can't afford it. Hey, wait, what? Yes, friends. That didn't quite work. Something for welcome back. Just get okay. Some well, apparently, we cannot trade with him. All right, oh, whatever. Oh, you're back. oh, this guy again. You are still not worthy. Yes, we are not worthy. Apparently, whatever you say. So, can we pick anything up? 
No, not quite. Not around here. All right then. Not sure if we should be going this way. Well, apparently that would be a yes. That does make me a little bit nervous. How about through here? Yeah, that seems more reasonable, certainly. Oh, hey, experience. Thanks. Alright then. So, fight these guys. Yeah, that won't be very hard. Let's just charge them. And we'll test our new friend. He has 20 health. So, what do you have? Head knocker, chop, taunt, cause fixated on target enemy and pull them towards you, alright? Yeah. So how do we want to open? Let's use meditate first. If only to gain armor. So there we go. Then I don't want razor's drop. But we can actually kill the archer in the front. So how about we do that? But killing blow for the troll. Tell me. So first chop. And then we can do 10 damage with slinking assault. Wait, can we not do that? Here. Oh yeah, we have to move after, that's fine. There, done. So that gives us one opportunity point. And we can spend that for Razor's drop. Here, that will do. That will be extra damage. Razor's drop seems really nice. So now, these two guys. First, we need a mental attack. Like so. Alright. Probably meditate again. We can also use Dragon Breath. Definitely a good idea. Set them on fire. We can use Fixate as well. But definitely meditate. And I'm thinking either Fixate or maybe attack. We still got 6 health and 3 armor. And we can do quite a bit of damage. Now that Razor's Shrub is active. Okay, let's do that then. Here. He's down to 17. Alright, that's that. Now they will move closer. Here's Lumbering Strike again. So, mental damage again. That will have to be... Yeah, this one. That will interrupt him. And probably meditate again. Although, hold on. I think we might be able to kill one of them. Let's try. First, I need to move. Here. Yep, he's down. That is so good with Razor's Drop active. And we can still use Meditate to avoid taking excessive damage. Or we can fixate. As in taunt. Here. He will actually move towards us when we do that. Nice. And we can gain some armor. Yeah, that's a stance, actually. We should probably have that active at all times. He is going down. On the next turn. And then we can eat. Probably a good idea, yeah. You're going down, buddy. Goodbye. Victory! We are pretty close to a level up. So, let's move on. We got some more herbs. And some loot. Rusty Chainmail Hoberg, plus 6 constitution. Sounds promising. Is that an upgrade? No, it is not. Never mind. We can always sell it. So, onwards. We are going this way. Oh, and it looks like that's an opportunity to gain more experience. If we want to consume the stone. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, let's consume it. It's fine. I like the experience. So, there it is. Okay, then. 
Oh yeah, we got a new ability. Okay. Right, we're supposed to use it here. I was too focused on the stone. Here. Well, that's nice. I guess we're going this way then. So, pick up the herbs. I'll take all of that. And some dots we'll have to fight. Okay, first, let's maybe heal ourselves, shall we? That sounds like a good idea. Uh, no, we don't have to do that. Never mind. We don't have skill points to spend, do we? No. Alright, charge. These guys will be a little bit tougher from the looks of it. But nothing we can't handle. So, first, let's get our defenses up. I have to wait one turn to use deflect. Okay, fair enough. Meditate, definitely. For the armor, but also for the spell point. Then we can use it on dragon bread. And then I will use scatter call drops. Then... Okay, we got one more point. So, razor drop and hide in shadows. Actually, that works other way around. Alright. Well, I guess that's basically our turn. We'll do actual damage on the second turn. We already got a perfect target for dragon bread. Okay. So, dragon bread on the guy in the front, and we'll also hit one archer in the back. Here. Nice one. I love that ability. Oh, actually, not the guy in the back, the guy on the left, right. Here. Then we can actually kill him and gain an opportunity point. I just need to move first. Uh, no, I don't. We got Razor Strop active, so this will kill him. Like so. And then... Well, I can move. I don't think that will really do as much good. It kind of will. This way. And then we can hit him. That will be a lot of damage. Here. Nice one. He's down to three. I can actually straight up kill him right now. Done. Nice. And we can taunt if we want to. Get over here. And done. Nice try, bro. Oh no, he did one damage. What are we going to do? Surely we can't withstand the firepower of that magnitude. Okay, this way. Uh, that maybe wasn't the best idea, but it's fine. So, this fella. I can't quite pull him towards me. We can hit him. Twice. Uh, no. That was our last opportunity point. Zero damage. Yeah, that's because of our armor. Okay, so this guy is definitely going down right now. Bye-bye. That's plus one opportunity point, and we are done. The throw is so good. Oh, and we should check the passive ability of Dalglish, because I did not do that. We leveled up. Let's check Dalglish real quick. What do you have? Dwarven Resilience. Dwarves are stubborn and sturdy people, who are almost supernaturally tenacious. Dwarves cannot be knocked down, stunned, rooted, or forcibly moved by enemies, okay? These are from the skills, the other two. Okay, so we got skill points, two skill points. Let's see, what do we want? Good question. Let's see. Levitate, I don't think we need that right now. Some better armor? We could unlock leather armor. But I'm thinking mana robes will be better in the long run. Meditation. Well, we could get plus two intelligence, which is always an option. Blade casting, plus one strength. That will increase our damage. 
so that might actually make sense. Possibly. Plus one maximum spell points. Plus two intelligence. Soul Leech. Attacks with spells have a 20% critical chance to restore plus one spell point to the caster. Yeah, that is not bad. I don't feel like we need it. I think we'll be able to talk with the review board soon. How many points did we spend total? We need eight points spent. That's three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that will be eight points. But what do we pick out then? I'm actually thinking plus one strength. What does it actually lead to? Oh yeah, more strength. Yeah, let's pick up strength. Here, done. And then the other guy. What can he get? He has a lot of options in here. Okay. Great swords. Sundering smash. Deal free physical damage to the first enemy in range and remove free armor. We haven't seen enemies with armor just yet, but I assume we will eventually. Deal 5 physical damage to all enemies in the front. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we need Sundering Smash just yet. I haven't seen any enemies with armor yet. Okay, what about defense? Well, plus 2 constitution. Critical block with shields. What about command? Let's see, battle standard. Moving towards this combatant refunds opportunity for allies. Interesting. Plus 2 intelligence. We could just straight up increase his strength. Yes, we can. It will only be plus 1, however. Can we replace Chop with something better? I guess we can. Deal 7 physical to first enemy in range. Maybe we should pick up either Sundering Smash or Sweeping Slash. What else do we have in here? I'm not quite ready to commit to a specific weapon type. I think I'll just pick up plus one strength right now. Yeah, that makes sense. Or crafting, what can he make? Let's see. Target ally gains four armor for two turns. Not bad. Battle standard. The first lethal blow suffered in combat instead reduces the fighter's constitution to 1, okay. Deal plus 25% damage versus targets that are fixated on you. Oh, that's nice. But if we want that, we need to pick up Code of Honor. Let's pick up Code of Honor, why not? So, battle standard. Moving towards this combatant refunds opportunity for allies. Okay then. Do we want to replace anything with that? Uh, oh wait, that's a passive, right. There's no need to equip that. Okay, well, let's move on then, shall we? Hold on, shouldn't it be listed here? I think we need the actual battle standard. As in, we need to buy that from a vendor. So I guess we'll get a chance to do that eventually. But I would like to pick up Code of Chivalry next. So we will grab that. Yeah, we need an actual battle standard that gives us training in that. Okay. Well, I assume we'll get one eventually. So. Let's not go in just yet. Who are these people? I don't think we can do anything there. Let's grab the loot. And there's some more loot. Before we go in. Yep, I'll take that. And some herbs. Okay, do we need healing? And no, we do not. Well, maybe a little bit, but we'll be fine. Let's go in. And see what's going on inside. So, charge? Who is this? Defeat the imposter, right, that's us apparently. Well then, this is slightly awkward. Meditate to get armor. And we could just taunt. 
to get him to move towards us. But I think I'd rather have him spend the movement point. Just hit him. You're not even a dwarf. Here. Oh, alright. Well then. Hide in shadows, and then Razor's drop. And that will be our first turn. Let's see what he's going to do. Oh, he's summoning some friends, alright. Greater Meditate. I do not like the sound of that. So, let's hit him with Arcane Barrage. To interrupt him. What should I do? Then we can hit him with Lozaro. It will take a while to bring him down, he has 60 health total. And then... Well, we could use Scatter Caltrops, that's not a bad one. What else? Tell me what you need. Oh yeah, Deflect, that uses an opportunity point, and we definitely want that up. We could taunt him. Let's do that. That will force him to move towards us. And then... We can actually hit him. Here. Very nice. He's down to how much? 18. We can actually kill him on the next turn. Thanks to Razor's drop. That ability is so good. Yeah, we are down to 4 health, but he's going down on the next turn, guaranteed. Alright then, so... Head knocker first. Move. Oh, that will not actually kill him, he will be at 1 health. Alright, well, that's close enough, I suppose. At 2 health. We'll kill him on the next turn. Works for me. Nice try. Okay, now we can kill him. Goodbye. And we are as good as done at this point. Get over here. Can we actually kill it right now? Not quite, no. Almost, but not quite. Not that it really matters. It's not exactly dangerous, is it? No, it's not. Well, actually, yes, we can kill it. Here, done. Nice one. Not as much experience as I hoped. My friend, is it really you? Yeah, he's not in a good shape. I knew you couldn't be so cruel, and yet he looked just like you. There's something afoot, isn't there? A deliberate attempt to turn we fatherites against you and the other old races. When I recover, I will tell my commander what I have seen. I will tell him we are being lied to. I... Yeah, if you recover. That doesn't seem very likely. Yep. What do we have here? Rusty hatchet. That looks like it might be an upgrade for someone. The poor man. It isn't fair at all. That's our cue to go. The other paladins won't see our side of this. Wait, though. I must get my legend. Can't let him find it here. Alright, let's pick up the load and get out of here. In before there's someone waiting for us outside. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me too much. Okay, we got the ledger. That's a relief. Now let's... And we leveled up. There's a note tucked into the ledger. Okay, that's the note. You 
cunning bastard. If I get my hands on you. Looks like we are almost done in here. Anything else we can pick up? Nope, looks like that's it. Let's check the level up, shall we? So, one skill point. What do we want? I'm actually thinking more strength to increase the damage. Especially since killing blows with this dude give us extra opportunity points. So more damage is always a good thing on him. Especially on him. The rogue speaks up when they feel that they're near a chest, even if it's hidden. Okay, interesting. There's a 25% chance on killing an enemy to find bonus gold. Alright. Interesting. I might actually pick that up. Not quite sure just how much bonus gold we're talking about. Plus one strength. Well, tough choice. Plus two constitution. Disguise kit. Throw off your disguise and reveal your true position. Swap places with another party member, alright. Constitution might actually not be a terrible idea for him. He is a little bit squishy. And there will be enemies with ranged attacks. So let's get some constitution for him. He can't get armor easily, like our other two characters. And it looks like we are done in here. Our next objective is to find the green lady. Alright. So, let's see what's going on. Looks like we're going back to where we came from. Oh, no, maybe not. Well, we can bring this down. But I only got one bomb. And our objective seems to be over here. Okay. Yeah, let's check out... Oh, that's her! Well, that was easier than I thought. But the paladins are everywhere. Dalgleish, Ringneck. I'm so glad you're here. And you've brought a friend. Excellent. Thank you for finding me. I was following a rumor that an elf seductress was luring away young men and women from their homes. Fearing this was part of the campaign of terror against Scarabre, I hurried here, only to be accused of the kidnappings myself. Now the paladins hunt me, and though I could normally evade them, I cannot do so and also follow the trail of the kidnappers. Is it Analf who did this? I hope it is a lie. To find that any kin of mine had revived one of our darker customs would sadden me greatly. I don't see any trail. There is a song, Jaranel's Eyes, that can reveal it, as it reveals all corruption. Let me teach it to you. Okay then, let's be on our way. So, she will join our group. She is a level 4 practitioner, so now we got two practitioners. That will definitely come in handy. Thank you so, confirm. Now, play eyes and reveal their okay. Let's do that then. Okay. This way? I sense something not quite right about those folk. Okay. Sing Jaranel's eyes with me. Let us see what it shows us. So what now? Oh, okay. We'll be fighting them apparently. Well then. Could be interesting. Let's Tell see. What you need. So I'm thinking, obviously meditate. Ready. Can we kill at least one of them right now? Probably not. On your word. Arcane barrage. Yeah. We only got six health on this guy. Okay, let's open with slinking assault and then move like this. And then we can move to the right and use Charged Bolt. 
which will hit two people in the front. I like that idea. So over here. And then... Oh, actually, no, I can't use Charged Bolt anymore. But we can use Arcane Barrage. Here. Yeah, that's not too bad. And hide in shadows. Could have been better, but it's not a bad first turn. We will definitely kill at least one on the next turn. But they will do a fair bit of damage. It might be a good idea to use that healing potion. Probably. So, yeah, I think I might use the healing potion, actually. Let's do that, then. Here. 17. Much better. Now we can use Deflect. Okay, and now we can use Charged Bolt. Let's do that. That will kill the guy in the back. And also do damage to the guy in the front. And that's basically our turn. Yup. Suspicious citizen. <laughs> yeah, slightly suspicious. We need more meditation. Or more healing. Okay, well. Let's meditate. What is this? Target ally gains one spell points. And 25% increased intelligence for two turns. Alright then. Anyway. We do not have Razor's shop active right now. So... It will be a little bit harder to kill them. Here. Can we actually kill one right now? We'll do 7 damage. Tell me. Stop no, I don't think we can, unfortunately. Not quite. Yes. Dragon Breath doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. We could swap and then use Dragon Breath. But that will use opportunity points. I suppose it will still do damage, and it will set him on fire. So, he will be down to 11. Then we can do 5 with Head Knocker. And we would need 6 more. We can actually kill him. Okay, we can kill him. Let's do that then. Head Knocker. And then we'll refund one opportunity point. Here, perfect. And now we can still do something. What would that be? Well, I'm thinking taunt. Definitely a good idea. Get over here. And then we can still attack. Charged bolt. Here. And now we are done. Alright then. Let's see what they can do. Zero damage. How's that working out for you? Alright. So. Let's see, we need 10 damage on this fella. I can actually do it right now, but not from my current position. I would have to move first. Okay, let's move. Now, this will cost us two opportunity points, but we'll refund one, so it's acceptable. Here, so we still got one. And we can use that for taunt. Uh, no, taunt is on cooldown. Probably just Dragon Breath or something. And the Charged Bolt. Okay, Charged Bolt first. Like so. Dragon Breath. And Arcane Barrage. And another Arcane Barrage. He will actually die right now. Here. That was a fun fight. And he got a level up. 
All right then. So, what's going on here? I'll take all of that, and we should probably eat. Let's check the lot first. What's going on? Some herbs. I'll take those. And what is this supposed to be? Oh, that was a shortcut, basically. Alright, there should be one stone around here that we can save at. Track the kidnappers, that's our current objective. Oh, hi. This won't end well. Yeah, we definitely won't be fighting these guys. I can tell you as much. Some more lot over here, I'll take that. Alright, let's eat. How much do we need? I would say at least plus 7. Regains 5, regains 7. Let's regain 10. Then we'll be back to full health with everyone. Works for me. Now, can we equip anything that would be an upgrade? What about that hatchet? Is that an upgrade? Sort of? It is. We lost the passive, but... Yeah, that passive is actually nice. Head knocker costs minus one less opportunity to use. I don't like having that. The armor is not an upgrade. Yeah, I don't think we actually got any upgrades right now. That doesn't seem to be the case. Okay. The Black Ram of Clyde has been seen again. We don't have any For spare bots. So let's use that song again, shall we? Not super useful here. Oh, that's the fella we couldn't trade with, apparently. Seems to work now. Right, let's sell some of this junk. I definitely won't be using that. Let's see. Plus six constitution. That is not better than what we have, so how about we just sell that? This is also not better. So we'll sell that. That's 177 gold. Not a whole lot. I think I'll also sell the hatchet. And that will do. I don't think we can buy anything. We could buy some boats. I suppose that's an option. Anything that's actually useful without more passives? No. Not really. Just checking. Immune to stun. Elven armor. Move to a nearby space. Reduce the opportunity cost for your next attack by one for this turn only. Alright, I'm going to keep my gold for now. So, let's move on. We are not going this way, that's for sure. Absolutely not. Where are we actually going? This way, from the looks of it? Okay. Well then. Let's go that way. We'll have to burn through that blockade we saw earlier. That seems to be the case. More loot. Yep, I'll take that. And we got a level up, still. On Dalglish. What do we get for him? Let's take a look. Oh yeah, command. Right. Deal plus 25% damage versus targets that are fixated on you. I like that. Let's take that then. Okay. Does anyone else have skill points to spend? No, that's it. Let's move on then, shall we? Anything in here? No. Just checking. So, how do we actually get here? That's a good question. I'm not 100% sure about that. 
Let's take a look around. This way. Friends, I have a terrible feeling that this trail leads to my own home. Oh, these are mercenaries? You're a sword sword. Among other things, was a house carl in the Stenish Isles until I had a falling out with my Jarl. Then... I'm not really interested in your life story, a sorry. Disease. For a long time we didn't know what it was or where it came from. And we ruined ourselves paying doctors and charlatans for cures that did nothing. I gave my right arm, literally, to a practitioner who said he could give it strength to Liz. Now I'm armless, and she's no better. Sounds like you got a good deal. <laughs> All the money I made selling relics gone. Okay, how can we help? Recently we learned what we think is the true cause of the sickness. A sage we visited asked if Liz had ever touched any relics of the charm. I had. More than a year ago, Donal and I were exploring a ruin when I found a strange black mirror built into a hidden room. I felt a strange dizziness when I looked into it, but it passed and I thought nothing more of it. I am convinced now that the mirror was a thing of the charm. The sage suggested the mirror had stolen some vital essence from Liz and that if we could smash it, the essence would be freed and Liz might recover. But she is too Let me guess, to you want us to do it? Well, I'm not giving you 500. I guess you? we can seek it. You will go. This is more than we could have hoped for. We're in your debt. Here is the location of the ruin. The secret room is in. Thank you. All right. We, await your we can do that at some point. Probably not literally right now. All right, so... This way. Yep. All right then. I'm hoping there's going to be a save stone somewhere around here, because I wouldn't mind saving. Here's the puzzle. Okay then. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay, there, I got it. Took a little bit of time, but it's fine. So, let's see what awaits us in here. Stop. I'll pick out of that first. Of the taken children, and these are not they. I fear these are more of a corrupted. Use Jaranel's eyes once more. Well, they are dead on the minimap, so obviously we are going to fight them. Yep. Indeed, we are going to fight them. So, 20 health, 20 health, 20 health. Right. Let's actually open with a razor strop, shall we? Because I would really like to have that active, you know. Then we can use taunt on this fella and just hit him. That will do extra damage. And we still got one opportunity point. I'm thinking meditate to get more armor. And we'll save Arcane Barrage for when they use a special ability. And they probably will. Here, zero damage. Okay, our turn again. So now we can use Charged Bolt. Twice. Here. Nice. And now we can get a kill. We can get two kills, actually. Eh, sort of. Yeah, we actually can. No, not quite. Yeah, we can. Bit of a funny way to get a kill, but whatever. And that will kill the other guy. There. Nice one. Next. Oh. He knocked us back. Okay. Sure. Whatever. So, Dragon Breath is a thing. Can we do 20 damage on this turn? We probably cannot. Although, maybe we can, thanks to Razor Strop. That is so good. And no, I can't go all the way here. So, I'm afraid that's not quite going to work. Yes. Alright. Hold on. 
We might actually have enough spell points. Yeah, we do have enough spell points. He's going down. Goodbye. It's been nice not knowing you. Victory! Almost enough for a level up. More gold. So, about that save stone. I'm hoping there will be one somewhere around here. That would certainly be nice. More loot. I'll take that, thanks. Well, there's something in here. Oh, there's the save stone. And some herbs. I'll take the herbs. And that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.